example, G diminished. Go up a minor third to a B flat diminished. Go up a minor third to a D flat diminished. Go up a minor third to an F flat diminished. Same as an E diminished. Anytime you cut the octave into even portions, any note can be the root. That would be a, a really major chord synonym because you have so many different names. Next is the augmented. C, E, G sharp. Three roots. Major third, major third, major third to the root. Four frets apart. So it could be a C augmented, an E augmented, or a G sharp augmented. Now you get into like some more obscure diminished uh, chord synonyms. This would be like the major six chord. The major 6 chord equals the relative minus 7. You ready? <laughs> so here's how it works. Always go to C, because that's a good key. C6 equals its relative minor, A minus 7. It's the same exact chord. C, E, G, A. A, C, E, G. Exactly the same. So if C6 equals A minus 7, what does C minus 6 equal? Well, this would be C, E, flat, G, and A. So the same note starting from A would be A, C, E flat, and G, which winds up being the A minus 7 flat 5, which is same as calling it the A half diminished. All right. Now the trick to remember is that f these four note chords are contained inside of five note chords. For example, if you look at the um, the dominant ninth chord, inside the dominant ninth chord, you wind up having the minor six chord and the minor seven flat five. That's a bad run. Let's do it this way. So this would be, for example, on the 8th fret, that chord is F9, dominant ninth. From there it's the ninth. But from here, it's the A half diminished, and from here, it's the minor 6th. So inside the A minus 7 flat the 5. minus 6 is the F minus 6? Or? C minus 6, right? All right? A minus 7. So here's this, the spelling of F9. F, A, C, E flat, and G. That's F9. That's A half diminished. And from here, with the A over here, is a C6. All of these chords come from the key of B flat major. So if you wanted to solo on an F9, an A half diminished, or a C minus 6, you just solo the B flat major. Cool. It covers all of them. Wow. Alright, that's it for. There's more, but I mean, we can go on. All right. No, that's but that's alright. And so that's pretty much it on chord synonyms, right? Chords that. Well, chord superimposition would be the next big thing.